Oh, ho, ho, ho. You guys see that? Oh, I'm sorry, little guy. Well, hello there, friends. It is your Papa Cheddar here, back with some more vintage story. So, I did a lot of exploring last night. A lot, a lot, a lot. And I tell you, I've been almost all over this whole map, I swear. And I finally found the perfect place. As you can see, I got my temporary little base right here. But, the best part about it is this. You ready? Let me let me clear that HUD. Ready for this? Oh. Look at that. Look at this. Come on now. This is freaking gorgeous. Giant mountain. Quaint little little lake right here. Uh, drifter taking a nice little dip over there. You know, it's a drifter hot springs. And look at that cave. There's waterfalls in that cave. Oh, oh, it's stinking beautiful. I absolutely love it here. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me get my HUD back on. Oh, how do I get my HUD? There's my HUD. All righty. So... We have this beautiful new area. I managed to find a bunch of this stuff. This is peat. So if you look at it here, it burns at 900 degrees. So this is gonna be really good stuff for us. So I stacked up some of it, started stacking up some firewood. I got a bunch of storage built already here. Found a bunch of things on my adventures uh, to find in this place. And uh, oh, the best part here. Wait, wait one second. All right, look at this area right here. We got a waterfall coming down from a mountain to a nice little stream. Oh, there's... Oh, that's his go. Oh, he scared me. Nice little stream. I'm thinking about... Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. So here's some action. So this is one of them drifters. Hey. Come on, Bubba. What you got? Look at that. Does it... Doesn't that look like a tar uh, tardigrade? The face, but... We had one of our commenters. Um, he said that this looked more like a sloth, and you can definitely see sloth-like features. So look at those arms kind of thing. That definitely looks like a sloth. I believe that was Game Usurper who had said that uh, about being, them looking like sloths. And you know what? I got to agree, man. They do. It's just the face totally, totally screams tardigrade to me. I just I just can't not see it. Um, so another thing, uh, what I managed to get. Oh, hello, sir. Got no time for you. Um, we got a bunch of clay. Hiya. Let's get rid of this doorstep here. Boom. So we got a bunch of clay. It's in here somewhere. Somewhere. Ah, yep. Here's all my clay. Right there. So we got a bunch of clay. We're going to be making some... Uh, we're going to be... What do they call it? Pottery? We're, yeah, pottery. We're doing some clay work, some potteries here today. Uh, doing all the pots. All the pots. Um, so you guys are going to get to see that process. Maybe we'll go out and do a little bit of hunting. And, uh, you know, we'll see what a beautiful day we get here. So let's go ahead and start the clay craft. So we're going to take all this out. And it's same with the flint napping. So you just crouch down, right click, and you this pops up with all the different things you can make. So uh, one of the first things we're going to do is a clay pot, I think. So this is going to be how we make food here. So you can see we get our, our little squares back, our nice little voxels. There we go. Boom, boom. And then you press the F button and it brings up this panel. So if we do the three and then right click, you see that brings, it gives us a three by three square that we got to do. If we do the two, see that we get a uh, two squares that we can, we can mess with. And uh, boom, number one. And then I'll show you guys the last and the best feature. So see how we have another row that is exactly the same. So if we select this one, duplicate layer, it gives us the exact same one. And all we have to do is click down. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Makes it so easy. All right, so now it's changing up. And uh, oop, let's finish up this pot. Some of these uh, are easier than others to do, of course. And there you have it. There's our clay pot. And then uh, we got to fire it on the, the fire here. So let's go ahead and get some firewood. Boop. And boop. Now let's get our pot. So we just put this in the, in the fire. Get our torch, go ahead and light that, and it's going to cook it. What they call, I uh, forget the word is in pottery, but pretend this is the kiln. We're firing it right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll say fire it. <laughs> All right, so there's a couple more things we want to make. So, da, 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 da. Um, so these have tool molds as well. So when we get our copper, you can uh, melt down some stuff. 
well, some stuff, melt down the ore and pour it into these molds. Um, also, you're going to need a crucible to do that. So that is going to be our next build. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm not the most accurate with these, as I'm sure you guys can tell. So the crucible is going to let us put ore inside of it and uh, smelt that down to we, so we get the liquid form. That's where we pour it into our molds. There we go. Duplicate layer. Boom, 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 boom. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba Whoops. Okay, went a little too far there. Oh, let's clear these bad boys. Do, 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 do. Marvelous. And we'll get that ready to go next. Play pot still cooking. We're actually going to throw a little bit more firewood on there. Boop. And we could also use the peat for this process as well, but I think the firewood burns a little longer. Now I'm going to make a couple more molds and I'll catch you guys here in a minute. Oh, one other thing that I need to mention, so this was also told to me from a game usurper in the comments of the last video. Uh, I was mistaken as to the origins of uh, Vintage Story. So it doesn't come from the Terra Firma crap like I thought it does. It came from the... where it says I wrote it down here. Da, 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 from Vintage Craft Devs. So I believe there's the few of them are the similar people who uh, worked on that, and uh, you know I think they're doing a really really banging job on this. It's it's excellent. Um, so you know if they're watching, which they're probably not, thank you guys for making this beautiful game, and uh, you know we're having a lot of fun with it. So also too, the first molds you're going to want to make are the pickaxe and the hammer, because those are going to be crucial when it comes time to uh, to actually smelting and getting the ore. So you use the pickaxe to, of course, go out and mine the ore, but you will need the uh, need the hammer to break up the chunks of ore that you gather. So what we have... No, where is that? Da, 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 da. Here we go. So we have 64 copper nuggets, and uh, these are only gathered from the surface. So everywhere you find the copper nuggets, so you can see these red pickaxes like, a, like I showed you to do in the last one, um, so you find them on the surface in these locations, and that means that there's ore underneath of them. So that's when you dig down with your shovel and your pickaxe, and you find those deposits, mine them up with your pickaxe, put the chunks into right here, into your little crafting slot. Let's pretend the shovel's a hammer. So then we take our hammer, and we take our ore, put it right underneath there, and it would break it up into those copper chunks. So it's really stinking neat stuff. Um, it goes very in depth. Here, eventually, we'll be making an anvil and everything too. Actually, that's a that's a really in depth one. Let's show you that. So this right here, the anvil mold, and we need so much copper for that. We need about 900 units. Um, crazy amount, crazy amount of copper. But you know what? That's okay. It uh, it's worth it, worth it in the long run, and it's really not that hard to get. So let's see. Let's fire up our last mold here and uh, we'll be good to go with our next task for the day. So I'll see you guys here in a minute once uh, once we're done cooking. So I thought of one more thing that uh, we should make and it's a fun one to show. So this vessel right here, oh, there we go. So this is similar to those cracked vessels. Uh, I remember they're called, uh, told from the comments last video. Uh, the cracked vessel, so it's a clay pot and we can use it for storage. It is much, much better than those those reed baskets that I have over behind us there. So this one will, I forget exactly how much it lets us hold, but it's definitely better. I think it's 12, maybe it's 12 slot. And also too with the clay pot, when you guys, uh, when we go making a cellar, we're gonna want to store our food in the clay pots. Because I believe, and correct me on this if I'm wrong, but I believe the clay pot will give you the best, uh, the best food storage. Uh, uh, when you have it inside of your cellar and everything so it will hold your food preserve it for much longer than let's say a reed basket or a chest or the like like that um, it's really neat in this game you can actually have a cellar too i mean that's freaking insane for a game you dig down uh, i'm not sure how far i normally go uh i don't even know maybe eight ten blocks down uh, make another room underground make sure the walls are all stone and such and then you can store your food down there and it lasts a heck of a lot longer. What happened there? Oh, I think those words got in the way. Yeah, so it holds your food for much longer and uh, so you can stock up through the winter. So I think that's a great, great mechanic. Now let's just turn that off, press the end button there and there we go. Now I can see, whoops, nope, wrong button. God, I got I got jelly fingers. I got them jelly fingers, you guys. Ah. 
See, I should be having clay fingers right now. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, one more. Okay. Oh, I could have duplicated this layer. But you know what? We're just going to get all crazy with it. Ow! There we go. Pick that bad boy up. And, oh, boom, and boom, and there we go. So we got our molds, we got our crucible, we got our cooking pot, and we're about to have some storage. And then we're going to go out and level. I'm thinking about knocking down. Let's see if we can see it from here. Boop. Yeah, that area I just showed you by the waterfall where we want to build, I'm going to go ahead and flatten that ground right there, that earth. So that's going to be our, our starter little home, our project. We're also going to need to gather a bunch of resources for building the base. Um, I'll probably do that off the camera, so so you guys don't have to see all of that mess. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a great old time. I really need some place with a view, though. Like, look at this. I'm still just blown away every single time I, I come here. And and seriously, this whole area right around here is just absolutely gorgeous. These huge mountains. They just stretch all the way around. It was a tough time for me to find uh, an exact location that I absolutely loved. But when, as soon as I, I rounded the corner and I saw this zone, it was it was done. I had to do it. Okay, there's our storage. Let's do, 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 do. Boom. Put it right there. So we got our shovels. Um, we got some food. We're actually, I think we're pretty low on food. Bah, 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 bah. Where is... no. Nope. I don't have any food. Okay, we're gonna need to do that here too. Let's go start digging, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, grab some food after that. See you guys in a second. All right, all right. So if I want the, uh, let's see, jumped around all crazy, all crazy. So I want like a windmill kind of to be right here. Maybe this be a little farm area. So for our house, let's go ahead and make it over maybe here. Okay, right here. I think this would be a pretty solid area. I'm going to get to digging and uh, catch you guys here once we got a little bit more progress or once our stomach gets so darn low that we are just forced to stop working and go find some food. Whichever happens first, it'll probably be the food one. Ha ha! We'll see you guys soon. All right, guys. Well, this kind of puts a little hamper in our plans right here. So this stuff, if you'll notice, is quartz. It says requires tool tier three bronze to break. So I don't think uh, we're gonna be able to dig down much lower than this, uh, at least in this little area. So that court's kind of a, a little little stick in our wheels here, as it were. Um, but we have a decent amount of flat space right here. And I didn't really wanna go all the way down to water level anyway. So this kind of gives us a, a little bit of elevation. We could probably just build right on top of this. Got a decent amount of room here to build a, a nice little quaint cabin, if you will. You know, something uh, not too, it's a very humble home, you know? Do a little hobbit, hobbit house. Hermit house? I don't know, hobbits live in holes. We're not living in a hole, we're living in a house. So we'll say hermit house, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's okay, that's all right. Well, uh, let's finish off this little, this little, uh, oh, what's it, layer? You can never think of the words that I want sometimes, if, if you can't tell. Finish off this layer, and then we shall go and hunt for meat, because we are hungry. I need food. Beautiful. All right, we hunt. Well, we uh, we go back to base. We get spears, then we hunt. Ha ha! Ow, ow! There we go. All right, guys, we got our spears. Got four of them. That should be pretty good. And our club, a knife. And we are ready to head out and get this going. Ooh, flax, we'll remember, we'll remember where that is. So time to go and stock some prey. Hopefully we find something good, because yo, Papa is getting hungry. Tell you what, at least find some, some veggies or something. We'll see. There we go, we got a little bit of berries. Oh, no. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> All right, let's go on the prowl. Meow. Here we go. Oh, miss. Here we go. Aha, I got that little little chickadee. I'm sorry, buddy, but I am hungry. What a good throw. I would have I would have made it on the first shot, but the uh <clears throat> the sun was in my eyes. You guys saw it. You guys all saw it. See, and there's another. There's another little chickadee. See, first shot. Nope. Lost a spear. Ho! Oh, there he is. Hiya! I don't know where that second, that other spear went. That's why we have multiple spears. Because you're going to throw them, you're going to miss. 
It's going to happen. Happens every time. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's gone. It's gone forever. That's okay. We can always make more. Um, but these, let's see, these feathers, those are going to come in handy. We can make a bow and arrows, which I think will be, uh, really handy. I, uh, I really enjoyed it on my last world, so, uh, I think we have enough flax to get that going. So we'll, uh, I'll show you guys that when we come back. And this right here, this is the peat that I was showing you guys. You can kind of see it on your map, if I recall correctly. Where are we? Right here. Um, yeah, so this darker green, I think, is the peat. Um, yep, it looks looks like that's accurate. So if you're ever on your map and you see dark green patches like that, that's usually peat. Uh, lighter patches like this here is usually the clay. Um, can't think of any others right now. These whites are flowers and stuff like that, like green trees, obviously. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll see if there's others. I, I don't quite remember. Maybe we'll pick up a few cattail roots while we're at it. Why not, right? Balanced uh, balanced breakfast starts with cattails. Not not like cats that go meow. You know, of course that's <laughs> that'd be horrible. That'd be horrible. Don't eat your cats. Feed your cats. Pet your cats. Love your cats. But don't eat your cats. If you have to, just their tails. Apparently, I don't know. Okay, don't do it. I'm sorry. Here we go. Some turnips. Not a bad little find. You ask and ye shall receive. Mother Nature provides for us all. I haven't really seen any other critters here since uh, last we spoke. But uh, we are finding veggies. We're finding fruits. Um, so all in all, not too bad. We're definitely, we're definitely going to be able to keep going. We're not dying today, boys and girls. We're not dying today. But that doesn't mean we're going to quit looking. There we go. Even more. Marvelous. You know, we're actually just going to take these bushes back with us, too. We're going to start gathering the bushes up and keeping them with us, like uh, we talked about last episode, and uh, get a little berry farm going first and foremost. Never a bad thing. Closer to home, food production, always good. What the kind of creation is this? A floating rock? Ah, this wizardry. Yeah, I should build my house right here. This must be like an ether vent. For uh, sorceries, I have to craft the book of Argenthal. And get on a wizard stick. Hang on. Up. Oh, do I have a stick? I don't have a stick. And our inventory is stinking full. Water. Look. Get out of there, water lilies. Um, yeah. We'll get our wizard stick. We'll come back here. We'll do the ritual. We'll summon the beast. Ha ha. Okay. So here we have some mushrooms. So these are the red ones, and I read that. Or I didn't read. I was watching a video, and they said these were not good to eat. Um, oh, minus 10 HP. Okay, yeah, so the red and white mushrooms, if you ever find them in real life, uh, you're going to be in for a bad time. So apparently this game also follows suit with that, so we're just going to get rid of that old guy right there. We're not going to chance it. We don't need any, uh, we don't need the runs, as it were. Uh, that just, uh, you're not going to have a good time. You eat those red mushrooms, you're not going to have a good time. The brown mushrooms and the white mushrooms are fine. Uh, you can eat... Oh, bunny! Uh, oh, wrong button. Come on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you guys see that? Oh, I'm sorry, little guy. I'm so sorry, but that was an amazing shot. I wish I could say it was all skill, but uh, you know, let's be real. That was that was luck in its finest for forms. But that's okay. We got them. That's what counts. Got a good little haul of foodstuffs here. Um... Yeah, can't uh, can't go wrong with this. Let's have a little bit of a carrot snack on our way home, and uh, we'll go put our cooking pot to use. You guys can see how that stuff works, huh? Let's see. Where am I? Where are we? Oh, we are going the wrong way. We gotta go over here. Okay, that's why I love the map coming in handy here. All right, I'll see you guys at home. Oh, while I am thinking about it, and I remember. Oh, another bunny! Shoot! Every time I try and talk to you guys, I find something to kill to quench my bloodthirst ah nope come on nope oh there's two of you ah nope that's okay now where's our spears where are our spears there they are um what was i saying see what i'm talking about uh oh yes the mushrooms so i don't know if this is true or not but i watched another video on this game and they were saying that uh 
If you're in a biome with mushroom spawning, then it is too wet of a climate to find bees. So if, uh, if that's true, then wherever you build your base, you're going to want to have no mushrooms around, you know, or I guess when you're looking for bees, you want to have no mushrooms around, otherwise you're going to be wasting your time pretty much. Um, again, I don't know if that's 100% true, but it would kind of make sense. Uh, on my other realm, I've been running around a mushroom infested everywhere for the entire time looking for bees, and I just ran past my house, um, and I haven't found a single one. Ah, ah. There we go. Um, so yeah, just something to keep in mind. Uh, if you're not finding bees and you're in a little mushroom area, then maybe try expanding your search to a place where there are no mushrooms and give that a shot. See, boop, and uh, carrots, and there. Okay, I'm gonna get organized and uh, then we'll come back and we'll cook some food. All right, one more thing. Uh, before we cook the food, we are going to need some bowls. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll just do four bowls, because why not? And we're also going to want some crocs. Uh, uh, I think they're called crocs, the sealed crocs. That's how we store our food from the... Uh, oh, God. Uh, store our food from the pots. I should... Oh, God, I'm just messing up all over the place. Too antsy. I'm hungry. Hungry, I got shaky hands. There, this is this is the easiest, easiest thing to clap, Cray like. Cray like? Oh god, I can't even talk. The easiest thing to craft with clay would be these bowls. There we go, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> Sounds good the second time coming out, doesn't it? But that's alright, here we go. We're gonna have four beautiful bowls. And then we'll whip up some crocs while these are firing. Boom. Okay, so do do do. We're actually going to use some peat for this because we got a bunch of it and we're low on firewood, so why the heck not? Okay, let's see. Throw that in there. Throw our bowls in there. Get our torch and light her up, Steve. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to make the crocs. So, raw croc. And we're going to make four of these bad boys, too. It's good for, uh, good for the storage. That way you can kind of preserve your meals a little better. And you can actually seal these crocs with fat also. And uh, they'll last for, shoot, like a year and a half, over a year anyway. Um, so definitely something good to do to seal these. You're going to need animal fat. And all you do is you put the croc with food in your inventory and you put some fat above it. And then, or not in your inventory, in your crafting uh, squares. Put some fat above it and then, uh, boom, you got a sealed croc. It'll preserve your food for the winter so definitely something to keep in mind you're going to want to stock up on some sealed uh, sealed crocs full of food i believe they only hold four servings um and then you can make up to six servings in the uh in the pot so you're going to kind of wind up with uh you know one and a half crocs worth of meals as it anyway um all these little buttons boop 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 and boop there we go um, so yeah, something to keep in mind when you guys are doing your food preservation and everything. Um, definitely, definitely good to know. So let's see here. So yeah, Pete, the bad thing about it, see it burns for 25 seconds. Um, let me see. We're actually, we're going to do something really quick. There's my sticks. So we're going to make some tool holders, tool racks anyway, um, just to kind of make this easier for us to manage. Just a temporary thing anyway. Boop, boop. And we'll put our spears up here. So if you guys saw that, it was just rows of sticks. Makes it nice and easy. And shovel and axe. I think we stored some other tools somewhere. There they are. Boop, boop. Oh, didn't mean to take that. There we go. And shovel and shovel. Okay. Um, what were you just talking about? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, the peat burn duration, right? Oh, yeah, 25 seconds. Let's look at the firewood. Wait, 24 seconds. Is that right? Yeah, okay. Son of a gun. Well, <laughs> your old papa doesn't know what he's talking about yet again. So apparently the peat is just all around better. It burns hotter, um, burns longer, apparently. Um, that just that just tore my whole world apart, I, I promise you. Um, but then the next step up above this is charcoal. And uh, we'll be looking to make some charcoal 
here in the oh can't do that I'll get too much here in the future um, yeah so I'm gonna get these all fired up get our crocs going and then I'll see you when it's time to fire up our clay pot eat a few berries in the meantime so we don't die what the what the crap how'd this guy get in here hey you son of a gun get out of here you kind ain't welcome here boy come out Jesus what happened how did he get up here? Let's get our torch. Ah, uh, uh, look at that. Your old papa forgot to take the stairs out. Ha <laughs> ha, that's my bad. So he got a, he got a swing on us. He touched us, that's for sure. Um, rest of the perimeter is safe. Let's uh, slice him and dice him with our brand new knife here, huh? Okay, some flax. And bowls are done. All right, and goes the first croc. I wish we could stack these, but we, we just can't. It won't allow it. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention when we were hunting, guys, is, uh, like, let's take rams and wolves and pigs, for example. I don't think the bunnies and the roosters this affects, but for the rams, wolves, and pigs, if, uh, if they're in a group with males and females, if you attack the male, then the female will follow suit and attack you as well. But I believe if you just attack like the females, then uh, the male won't. Uh, I could be backwards on that, but I'm pretty dang sure that's how it works. Um, so yeah, if you guys, uh, you know, if you do that little hunting pull technique we talked about, uh, where you, for the rams anywhere where you want them to charge you, then that is what I recommend doing is attacking the males first. So that way they all run over and just uh, start smacking you. Oh, here we go. First croc is fired. So yeah, this little guy right here. He will let you uh, store the food, and then all you do is grab your bowl and you scoop it out of this guy. Um, now there is a bug right now on the the food stuffs. So let's say if I had da, 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 how do I want to explain this? Yeah, if I had the pot in my hand and I it was full of food and I wanted to pour it into this crock, it would bug out and say there was like zero servings in there. So what you want to do is you have your primary bowl, your your pot right there. And you want to have your crock, you scoop it up with the crock, put the crock down, take your bowl, scoop it out with the bowl. Or you can just go straight from bowl to pot. So one of those, but you want to do, I guess, the smaller container in your hand, scooping it out. You don't want to do pouring it as of right now anyway. It's probably going to get fixed here in uh, future patches and stuff. But right now that is a bug that you could encounter. So be careful with that. And um, yeah, you're, you're going to have a good time. Alrighty guys, so we have our crocs already. Let's go ahead and do some cooking. So we're gonna take our clay pot, boom. See it opens up these four slots. And what you're gonna wanna do is bring your food over. And one thing to keep in mind, you want these all to be in even, uh, even numbers. So see I have three of each meat. We'll do three veggies and then three berries. So see right here, we'll create three servings of poultry red meat stew with boiled turnip and red currant berries. But, boom, I added one more berry, all of a sudden, doesn't work. So, uh-oh, boom, there we go. So they all have to be in even, uh, even, even numbers, I guess, or they all have to be the same number for what ingredients you're using. And of course, since we have threes across the board, this is gonna make three servings. Um, you can do, there's a whole bunch of different recipes you can make. If you guys look on the wiki, uh, that's a really good source of information to find it. Also, your handbook, I think, has some stuff. Let's look. Uh, cooking. Uh, oh, meal making. Here you go. So, yeah, so, see, meat stew, vegetable stews, porridge, soups, jams, all kinds of stuff. You can even cook just the meat like we were doing before. Um, I don't know if you can just cook vegetables. I haven't honestly tried that. Maybe we'll try that after this, do a little bit of science, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, so definitely keep that in mind. If you're trying to cook, it's not working. Make sure your ingredient ratios are correct. And uh, then you're going to have a delicious time, a delicious meal. And this is going to be really good for our, our food bars here. You can see we're pretty evenly spaced. This is going to give us a lot of that protein we need. And uh, the only thing we'll be missing now is grain. And look at that. Our health points right now is 20.5 HPs. So that's a lot better than the 16 and a half I think we had before. So you see what having a nice balanced diet will do for you. Get your health points up and uh you know start to be able to ward off those damn drifters when they break into your to your mud wall oh boom there we go we got a crock full of food i just want to try something really quick for science and no i don't think you can cook 
Nope. Uh, is that even? Nope. Okay. Can't do it. Can't cook that stuff. But let us see. So put our our food down. Look at that. Doesn't that look yummy? Oh, yum, 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 yum. See the steam rising off of that? Isn't that cool? <laughs> it even shows the temperature up top. 200 degrees Celsius. So we're going to take our crock. Boom. Pop that there. And you can see the little label on it changes. So there's food in there as a pair, uh, compared to these blank ones right there. So we mouse over it. We have three servings of the great delicious food. It tells you all the sat satiety, satiation, what is it? Uh, sat satiety? Satiety. I think it's satiety. Anyway, shows you the satiety stats you're going to get. And we just take our bowl in our hand. We scoop from there and boom, there's our meal. Let's go have a nice tasty grub. Another cool thing, let me put that down. Since we didn't eat the whole bowl, we now have 0.6 servings of the food. So you can keep coming back and eating from these things, which I find freaking awesome. Yeah, okay, we can't. Boop, boop, there we go. We got a lot of a lot of clay stuff out here. And uh, we're going to need to make some shelves eventually. And we can store like eight of these things, the bowls and the crocs per shelf. It's really cool. But I think we need planks for that. Let me see. Shell. Oh, no, we're in. Boom. Yep, shelf. And yeah, we need pl uh, planks. So, or boards, rather. Um, yeah, the world opens up as soon as we get a saw. That's going to be the next thing we make with our with our copper. Uh, after we make these, we make an anvil, then we're going to be making a saw, and that is going to open up a whole new world of possibilities. I'm honestly going to probably hold off on the construction of the main base until we get that saw, just so I can get the look of the base that we're really going for. But uh, we're still going to clear out that clear out that mountain. We're going to probably start the farm because we got a whole bunch of seeds as I run around here aimlessly. Where's our seeds? There they are. So yeah, we got a whole bunch of seeds that I want to get planted. The rice, turnips, soybean, flax, carrots. Oh, we got a lot of good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. We got a lot of good stuff. Um, but, you know, I think that will just about do it for us today. So let me have a nice little cozy seat by the fire here. And, uh, oh, nope, don't spin. Press it once more. There we go. All right, guys. Oh, God, I'm getting the smoke in your face. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, look at that. That's trippy. Look at that. Kind of see, like, the clouds behind us. Uh, this is what happens when you eat those red mushrooms. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop. <laughs> but, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I, I am so happy that you joined me today for this episode. I hope you enjoyed your time here with your old Papa Cheddar. Uh, that you're enjoying the series, enjoying these sods. We'll keep them coming, and uh, hopefully the fun times keep rolling. I'm really excited about this base location. I think we're going to be able to make some magic happen. Uh, of course, once we get the staff of Arenthal, we'll go back. We'll uh, we'll do the ritual, some of the dark one, and then this world will be ours. We shall crush it in the palm of our mighty hands. Ha ha ha! I am the Firewalker. Ha ha ha! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyway, that'll do it. I love you guys. Bye, and we'll see you in the next one.